Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the turkey leg hut, Nakia Price, her husband, Lynn, and the impending divorce. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's talk in the comments. Okay. So if you have been on social media and know anything about the Black-owned restaurants or, you know what I mean? Houston, Texas, you might have heard of Turkey Leg Hut. They are very popular at this point. And um, I hate to hear about all of the drama that they've had going on. I mean, they always did some drama, to be honest with you. Like, if y'all have heard of Turkey Leg Hut, y'all know they stay in some mess. But I hate to hear that Nakia is saying that he didn't put his hands on her or that, you know what I'm saying, he's been abusive. Because I'm going to read with y'all, I'm going to read to y'all what she said. So she said, she put this on Instagram and I got pictures, y'all know I always got my pics. She said, I'm finally validating what the world already knew. Long post alert. And then this, this is the post, this is the caption. She said, I've been quiet for so long and I can no longer hold my silence. This war that I've been fighting behind closed doors, all the while pretending to the world that everything is perfect is too much to bear i am living in hell on earth the abuse the manipulation the lies the deceit the gaslighting and narcissism have become unbearable the world thinks he's a man who stands on business but y'all are sadly mistaken the man that me and my children know is cruel abusive emotionally and mentally and completely void of any emotion from the time we wake up to the time we close our eyes each night, we are literally in a fight for our peace and sanity. I can admit that I've played my part in hindering and hiding his behavior, but today I'm finally choosing me. I'll die behind this truth and I'll lose everything to finally have peace. I brought light to his life while he came into mine to destroy not only me, but all who love me. I'm finally closing this chapter, but I know the battle is about to commence and I'm ready. I know after I win this war, I'll finally have my peace. There are so many more chapters to my story, but this one is officially closed. I'm going to need all the support I can get, but I also know that God has me with love, Nakia Holmes. So she's done using her last name. She like over it, over it. And let me tell y'all, I read it and I was like, okay, like Nakia, girl, I feel you. I'm sad that you've been going through this, but Nakia, he been dogging you out. Like, to be honest, y'all, I think Lynn got somebody pregnant. The uh, Her husband, Lynn, I do, because I think he got somebody pregnant because I think that that's where she uh, met her breaking point. Because Nakia, he was cheating on you in a restaurant, in, in a restaurant, in a bathroom. That been went viral about Lynn creeping with one of the uh, one of the staff members there and cheating with that girl in the bathroom while Nakia was in the kitchen cooking. They have been saying that. That rumor been going around, you know what I mean? So it's like, Nakia, if that is true, if that really was popping off, and again, it's a known, it's something that has been going around to the point that I do believe that there is some truth to it. Maybe you weren't at the restaurant, maybe you were, maybe it wasn't, maybe, maybe it was, you know, whatever, whatever. But it's like, at the end of the day, it was something and a lot of people know about it to the point that they're talking about it. And I know how rumors kind of change when a lot of people get a hold of it. But at the end of the day, the root of the rumor is the saying, your husband was messing around on you inside of y'all's restaurant, which means that he don't, he don't give a damn. He don't respect you, y'all marriage, y'all business, nothing. And... The fact that you stayed with him after that lets me know that, Nakia, you don't really have many boundaries and you don't have a lot of self-respect your damn self. Your husband been running around according to the blogs, according to the sites, according to the streets. Your husband been through la line all around, you know what I'm saying, the Houston metropolitan area. And now you come to the gram and telling us how you should have left that ass a thousand times. But it's like, Nakia, but we know that though. Because we've been talking about your situation and it's really no shade to Nakia. I'm just saying, Nakia, there's something more behind this. You saying he been abusing you and I do believe he been abusing you. I've been, because here's a T, y'all. Let, let, let me go down a list. <clears throat> Lynn Price is not no good man. And before you start to think I'm victim shaming, I'm not trying to victim shame or victim blame. I'm not trying to do that to Nakia. I'm just pointing out the facts that Nakia, you've been putting up with all kinds of disrespect. And the fact that you decided to stop, I know that for people who go through abuse, when they get to a breaking point, it's because something has happened that they just can't ride with. And a lot of times for women who put up with cheating, 
A lot of times it's when the other chick gets pregnant that they're like, okay, I can't put up with no more. And that's what I think is going on here. I may be wrong, but that's my belief. That's my hunch about this current situation based off of the information that I know, okay, before y'all attack me. But when it comes to Nakia, it's just like Nakia and Lynn, um, both of y'all honestly been, been down bad. Lynn, you not no good dude. You know, let, let me let me slide to the left over to you. You not no good dude. They been um they been got papers on you for um putting your hands on your pregnant ex-girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like you been had misdemeanors, felonies. They said that you used to sell drugs. They said that you used to be a tow truck driver or a repo man. You was doing something slimy. And they say that you the reason why that restaurant 5015, who used to be y'all business partner, they saying that you blew their restaurant up. They saying that Lynn Price is behind that fire of that restaurant 5015 in Houston. That's that's what I heard the name was. And yep, it was right off of Almeida Road. I looked it up. They say that, um, right, video shows man studying fire to 5015. They say that Lynn Price is behind that mess. And they got a lot of proof of y'all um, having a lot of drama at that restaurant. Lyndon put his hands on a customer. Um, they say that y'all not paying bills and y'all getting uh, lawsuits out the wazoo. And I mean, they've been, they been dragging y'all. Like, the turkey luck hug is down so bad. And I just want uh, Nakia, you know, to heal. I do want the best for Nakia. Before y'all go in on me, I want the best for her because she don't need no man like that in her life. She don't need no man in her life that's going to bring her down. She don't need nobody who's going to disrespect her. She don't need to be putting up with cheating and, and getting beat up and whatever the hell else she's dealing with. She don't need to be dealing with that. She don't need that in her life. No woman does. Nakia is somebody's mom. Like, she don't need that. She got kids to worry about. So I want Nakia and her kids to do well. I want justice to be served for Lynn because you did a lot of dirt. And um, But what I want Nakia to understand is, Nakia, you've, because you have helped him in a lot of the dirt that he has done, please understand that you're going to have to deal with some of the karma. You know what I'm saying? Some of the karma are the things that you have been dealing with. Um from him you know what I mean like the women who be with these ain't shit ass dudes please understand that you know they they be going through it too with them they just want to be with them so bad and then when they they be knowing that the dude ain't a, ain't a good guy and when things start to fall apart for him you know it's just like you're gonna have to endure some of that karma because you sat there as an accomplice while he was doing some of the dirt and please understand that silence is agreement so even if you even if you're not helping him move bricks or helping him do dirt or whatever the hell your man is into that's not right you turning a blind eye to it is you starting to play an accomplice because you're aware of what's being done and you choosing not to do anything about it especially when you know there's a right and a wrong you you're choosing to side with it then if you're not going against it you're going with it and that's because that's how life is in life you got to pick a side and you got to pick a side and die there. You got to talk about standing on business. Yeah, you got to pick a side and stand on that. And mean what you say and, and say what you mean. And you can't fold. So it's just like, Nikia, yeah, you're going to go through some things. Because like you said, I admit I played my part. That's just what it is. I want the best for Nikia. I want Lynn to get his shit together. And... um you know, prayer, only prayer can really save Lynn. He, you can see it in his face. He a piece of work. Um, I just think Nakia is a woman that needs, um, yes, to go on a self-love journey and love herself more so she don't get back with another ancient ass dude. I'm glad that she's, uh, and I hope that she stays on this path of wanting to get rid of him and wanting to move on. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Nakia, um, I hope that you just st stick with it. Stick with it and... And I hope that this is your new beginning because Lynn ain't no good. And you've been letting him run amok all around town and all around Houston. So I'm glad that you have finally stopped putting up with it. And, you know, wishing her the best. Uh, what y'all think? Let's talk in the comments. Do y'all know anything about Lynn or Nikia Price? Have you been to the turkey leg hut? What you think about the divorce? I think they fooled too goddamn salty. <laughs> I think they fool too salty, but I'm wishing the best for her. I'm wishing uh, Lynn's karma up on him. Let's talk in the comments. Bye.